sliding and rolling friction. Let's assume you have kept a cuboid shaped box on the table. You will require some force to push this box forward. Now keep the same box on top of cylindrical shaped object and push it. In this case, force required by you to push it to the same point as before will be lesser. Note. In second case, cylindrical object has reduced the friction between the box and the table. Consider you are traveling to another city and you are carrying luggage weighting around 30 kilograms. If you are unable to carry the bag, the only option you have is to drag it on the floor, which will require a lot of effort. However, if your bag had wheels under it, then it would be easier for you to carry it around. With this background in mind, let's understand what the sliding friction is. It is a frictional force which opposes the relative sliding motion between the two surfaces in contact. This simply means that if an object is in motion on a surface, the frictional force that is offered by the surface is called the sliding friction. Note the key words here are sliding motion. The two surfaces have to be in relative motion with each other. In our example, when a box is moving on the table, we say that the box is in relative motion with the table. The resistive force applied by the table when the box is moving is called sliding friction. Note. Remember, the objects have to be in relative motion. Because there is movement involved, this force is also called kinetic friction. Now, consider the example of luggage where we don't have the wheel under it. Here, when we move the luggage, the resistive force applied by the ground is called sliding friction. But, when wheels are attached to the luggage, the friction is reduced to a great extent. This type of friction, which arises when an object is rolled on a surface, is called rolling friction. It is nothing but force associated with rotational movement. Note. Rolling friction is usually lesser than the one associated with sliding friction. That's why attaching wheels at the bottom makes it easier to move the object around. Other examples of rolling friction are car tires, skateboard tires, bike wheels. To know more, sign up to www.linksy.in.